Oh yeah, the elastic bands on your bike. I didn't bring one, but basically most bike shoes have a little, especially the dry ones, they'll have some, somewhere that you can attach an elastic band to the back. So you want to set your shoes up, in, not in that position, but in that position. So think about it for yourself, which way, if you jump on your bike in high, at high speed, um, which isn't really necessary for a 70.3, um, you might want them a certain way, but if you can just <laughs> run along and put the foot on and step on and throw the leg over, then you'll want this one at the front and that one at the back. So yeah, you put the elastic bands onto the back and then you'll find somewhere on your bike to sort of attach them to and they're elastic bands that should break. Um, if they don't and you're riding along and you notice to them, you just pull them down to break them and they'll be snap. So don't get little thick elastic bands. <laughs> nice little thin ones. And that'll avoid the whole, when you're running with your bike, shoes going everywhere. Um, and then even if you, you're not comfortable with having your shoes on your bike, put your shoes on in transition and running with them. Totally fine as well. I know one of the best pros in the world, Meredith Gessler, she still does that, so <laughs> there's no saying that you can't do that.